hello everybody in this video i would like to do a short introduction about keyshot's material graph and its uh, basic operation okay let's start to begin with let's add a simple geometry something like maybe a rounded cube Okay, I added the cube and let's access the cubes uh, material information. So click on the material, double click on the material itself to, to have the material tab reflects uh, is our uh, material information. Okay, so what we're going to do next is actually to open up the material graph for us to do further editing of this uh, existing material. So click on the material graph button to open up the material graph. As you can see, the cube itself already have some uh, material graph information. Okay, so um, let me just give a short uh, explanation of what's happening over here. You can see that over here, there are two nodes. Two nodes. Basically, there is a diffuse node, which is actually describing the, the basic material of the, the cube, which is a diffuse material. And then there's another node called the material node. Okay, this material node is a very important node. Basically, it tells the software to output whatever information that is being furnished in the material graph onto this material. So it's an important node to specify that uh, that the the material used uh, will will be um will be coming from this node okay so in this case you can see there's a surface uh, uh, socket being connected to the uh, diffused uh, node telling which is uh, actually telling the, the software that we are using the diffused information to express the, the, the surface uh, properties okay so uh, what if um, I do not want to use this uh, existing material I want to change it to a different material so what I can do is you can simply just uh, press the delete key to to delete away the, the node that you don't want and you can see that uh, the object currently do not have any material information okay to add a node simply hover over this canvas do a right click go to add a uh, material okay so you want to add like maybe let's say let's say I want to use a paint material Okay, so I click on paint. Okay, and I can now uh, plug this uh, output socket to the to the surface input socket of the material node. Okay, this will tell the software to use the paint material as the uh, surface information. Okay. Okay, to, to uh, reflect what is um, the material pro pro properties within a particular node, right? What you can do is simply to double click on the node itself. Can you see by double clicking on this, uh, the, the properties of this uh, particular node is being shown in this uh, panel over here. Okay, let's say I want to uh, change some of the properties of the paint node. You can double click on this. And you can see that the paint property is being uh, reflected over here and maybe i want to do uh, maybe some color changes i can click on this to make the necessary color changes okay yeah you can see over here okay let's say i want to create some kind of bump textures uh, on this material what i can do is to uh, on the material graph canvas go to textures to add the necessary texture okay in this case let's uh put a cellular node okay we want to create like a la uh, ladder like uh, textures using the cellular node so next what we can do is uh, connect the output socket of the cellular node onto the the bump input socket of the paint node okay so this will 
tell the software to use the cellular node to express the, the bump on the paint material. Okay, as you can see, um, the material now have new uh, bump effect. Okay, so what if I want to further modify the bump effect? Okay, what I can do is uh, very simply just uh, click on the, the, the corresponding node, double click it uh, to have its information reflected on this panel. Okay, let's say I want to change the the size of the node, I can simply like play with the scale to change the size of the the cellular effect and maybe I want to like change the height as well, I can click on the bump height to change the bump height. Okay, yeah, you can see the effect will be immediately uh, be reflected on the on the object itself. Okay, uh, as mentioned just now, if you were to double click on the uh, particular node, its, its property will be reflected over here. Okay, this means that let's say if you want to make any changes over here, let's, let's say for example, I want to add a new label, I can simply do so using this panel. Okay, let's uh, add a kind of a logo on the material itself. So we can use the label, okay, click add. Uh, add label texture type okay so let's say I want to add this uh, transparent PNG okay I can click on this okay you'll see that the the new uh, information are uh, being reflected as uh, additional notes on the material graph okay can you see over here uh, there's a label socket that is connecting to a plastic material okay and this plastic materials are uh, diffuse information is connected to a texture map which is the texture map that we have selected okay so and you can see that over uh, over here is uh, reflected in in this way the uh, diffuse uh, channel is being used to to um, express the texture map okay yeah so we still can make like changes like say uh, size and positioning very interactively using the the widget okay so let's click okay yeah okay what if I want to make some further changes let's say to this texture map Okay, as mentioned be, uh, just now, what you can simply do is just uh, double click on that, that uh, node and make a uh, modification using the, the property steps over here. So let's say I want to reposition this uh, logo, I can click the move texture and do my repositioning. Okay, I think uh, I've come to the end of this uh, tutorial about uh, the material graph and its uh, basic uh, operation. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.